There's this thing called the Framingham score. If you want to Google it, uh, you can look up your own Framingham score. And what you do is you take all of these things and you sort of plug them into a computer program and it's going to put you in, it's going to determine your risk of having a cardiac event, sudden death, heart attack in the next 10 years. And we would consider, and you can see these are sort of done by percentiles, and we would consider this low risk, less than 10%, and generally our management of people who have a less than 10% risk is very conservative, okay? And then there's the high risk, greater than 21%, which is so where you would do much more aggressive lifestyle and uh, risk factor management, like aggressive hypertension treatment, aggressive treatment of diabetes, that kind of stuff. Okay? And you would even consider doing additional tests to try to see if they do have blockages. The question is what you do about this sort of vast middle group, which a lot of people lie in, you know, fall into, when it's sort of an intermediate risk. I don't know. I mean, there's like a 15% chance of having a heart attack in the next 10 years. I don't consider that great, but that's considered an intermediate risk. And so the goal of, and by the way, this is one of the websites. So again, you can just Google this and you can plug in all your own information if you want. I don't even want to know, honestly. But if you want to, you can do this and you can get a 10-year heart disease risk. So this is some sort of heart attack or sudden death in the next, next 10 years. That's why I don't really want to know. <laughs> but you can play, it's very easy to do this. Actually, you know what the, how the cardiologists do this? This is what they use. They go to Google, they search for it, and they get it up there, okay? So traditional, so about, you know, traditional risk factors aren't, aren't perfect. 50% of patients with a heart attack have normal cholesterol. Some people, they just present like that. They, they, just, they just sudden death and it was from a heart attack and they had no risk factors even. So the goal really is to find how to say you have a high risk, you don't have a high risk, you have an intermediate risk, you have, and we're trying to make definitive decisions about how to treat people and we have to need, that, need, need a sense of their risk. So the goal of the calcium score is really to take this middle group and put them as conservative or aggressive. Okay, that's the goal of calcium scoring. So if you fall in that range, it's not unreasonable to get a coronary calcium screening study.